What invention did you guys come up with and why? Um, well, we came up with an edible water bottle because we found that the thing that was most littered in refugee camps were plastic water bottles, and we decided to invent something that would help them not be so many. So we invented an edible water bottle. It's just one of the innovations being put forward by grade five and six students from North Bendel Junior Public School to researchers at Toronto Rehab UHN. This is just a, a 3D printed prototype that you did. Yes. The real thing won't look like this. How will be much bigger? It'll be bigger. So what will you make this out of? What kind of ingredients can make a bottle but also hold water? Um, we researched a few organic ingredients such as um, corn flour, baking soda, and once we figure out the recipe, we can put it into the mold. By them grasping complicated concepts at, the, at this young age, so it is really impressive. The goal was to come up with innovative concepts or technologies that could be used in low-income countries to tackle health care issues. We had many ideas, but then after our final was uh, a lollipop. Point is, there's medicine in it to cure malaria. So there's two. One is about Quinn. The other one is chloroquine. Why have it in a lollipop? We have it in a lollipop because um, children don't like medicine and shots. So we decided to put it as a refreshing um, treat. Other ideas included a measles detector. It would um, flash red and translator, both for use in refugee camps. To get out of their camp faster because they already have job skills, so they just need to be able to understand the, uh, their language. Were you surprised by the level of innovation that they came up with? Not at all. I think um, if we give students a chance, they can be creative and innovative just as much as adults. Once we start, people start getting excited about like, oh, making prototypes and stuff, and yes, it definitely pushes. Is it something that you'll continue on to try and get this to be an actual thing? We hope so. We definitely hope so. And that is exactly the kind of spark that they were hoping to ignite. At Toronto Rehab, Audra Brown, City News.